that we know what's right and wrong. How can anybody know what's right and wrong? Can we know what's right and wrong? How do we know what's right and wrong? We just, whatever we feel like is right, that's what's right? It can't be what we feel like, because if I feel like doing something bad, is that right or is that wrong? That's wrong. So what's right and wrong is not what I feel like, right? How can we know what's right? Is there anything in the world that is true and right all the time? It's always right? Is there anything that's always right? Let's give her a turn. The Bible. the Bible is right. And the Bible says to do certain things, and it says not to do certain things, right? So if, some, if we look and we see somebody, and they're doing something that the Bible says not to do, can we say... They're doing something wrong? Yes. Who's judging them? God. In that? God. Well, God, but especially the Bible is, isn't it? Yes. The Bible can judge whether they're doing something right or they're doing something wrong. If we look at somebody and we see that they're doing something that the Bible says to do, can we say they're doing a good thing? Yes. Are we judging them? No. No. The Bible is judging them, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, if, if I know that I, what if somebody, um, we, we know that we're supposed to do something for God, and we could do it a couple different ways. <coughs> I don't know. I, I could go, let's say that I need, I need to go to somebody's house and tell them about Jesus. Okay? And I take a certain road to get there. And somebody else thinks I should take a different road to get there. Should they, should they think, I'm still going to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm just going on a different road. Can they judge me? Can they say, he's not doing what's right? No, because I'm doing what the Bible says. I'm just doing it a different way, right? So a lot of people today, and some of you are old enough to know this and have heard it, say that nobody should judge anybody. And they'll quote the Bible, judge not. But that's not what the Bible says. Or that's not what the Bible means. The Bible tells us what's right and wrong, doesn't it? In fact, it says that we should judge certain things and not judge certain things. How do we judge? What is really doing the judging? Us or the Bible? The Bible. The Bible. So if the Bible says something's wrong, it's wrong. If somebody's doing what's right and they're doing it in a way that different from us, then we can't judge that. They're still doing what the Bible says, Right? So the Bible judges people, and in the way that it gets done, we shouldn't judge them. Then, and, and, and one of the big reasons for that is because all of us are going to be judged someday, right? That's what our verse says. So, when we're thinking about what's going on and what we do, should we think about what other people are doing or what we're doing? What we're doing. That's right. The last thing that Paul tells us in Romans chapter 14 is that we should think about what we're doing and make sure that it's not going to hurt somebody else. Now, I don't think you would ever do this, but let's just imagine. Well, let's look at this picture. You see what's happening here? This man is walking and he's probably in a hurry trying to get somewhere and somebody put a big rock in his path hoping that he would trip and fall. Should you ever do that? No. no. Now, of course that's just about a rock. But let me just ask you, could you do something and somebody else think, oh, it's okay to do that. And do it and they're not and they're sinning? They're doing something wrong? Can can somebody do something and it affect what other people do? Yeah. If I if I did, I don't know, if I came to Bible Club with a can of beer, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Because people would think, oh, Pastor Bowman thinks it's okay to drink beer. And it's not okay to drink beer. The Bible says it's not okay to drink beer. But if, if I said, oh, it's okay, or I didn't say it, I just acted like it was okay, I would, be make, I would be like I was tripping other people. Because they would think, oh, it's okay. okay. 
or we could take any other action. So in this sen sense, Paul is saying, make sure that you don't trip up other people. Okay? So who has to judge you in that situation? <clears throat> Paul says, make sure you don't do something. Yourself. Yeah. So Paul says, let the Bible judge other people. If the Bible says it's wrong, then it's wrong. But if they're doing what the Bible says in a different way from you, don't judge them. Then he says, you're going to be judged by God, right? Every one of us will give account of himself to God. And then he, then he says, all of you should judge yourself. Make sure that what you do doesn't hurt someone else. Here's the thing. Think about this. If you judge yourself and you say, oh, I shouldn't do that, and you stop it, when you stand before God, is, is he going to have to judge you for that? No, because you already stopped doing it, right? So is it better to be judged by yourself or by God? Yeah. But all of us are going to stand before God, and we have to think about the things that we do. When we go home today, everything we do will be judged. If we judge ourselves and we say, oh, I shouldn't do that, and we do what's right, then God won't have to judge us for that, will he? He won't have to punish for us for that. If we say, I really, I want to go play, but my mom says I have to clean. And we say, I want to go play, and I really want to go play, but I'm going to do what I don't want to do. I'm going to obey my mom, and I'm going to clean. So we judged ourselves. We punished ourselves. We kept ourselves from playing, and we cleaned. Let's say we go home and I really want to play. My mom wants me to clean. And so I'm just going to do what I want. We let ourselves do what we want and we go play. Someday, God's going to judge us for that, right? Because the Bible tells us to obey our parents. And God's going to say to you, remember that time after Bible Club you went home? You wanted to play and your mom wanted you to clean? What did you do? I went and played. Why did you do that? Because I didn't care what you said. Didn't you know that I said you should obey your parents? Yes, I knew that. <laughs> Pastor Golden even said it in Bible Club that day. There's no joy when you disobey God, is there? And He will punish us. He will punish us. So, Paul tells us today about being judged. Should we judge people about the way that they do the things that the Bible tells us to do? No. Can the Bible judge people and say, oh, that's right and that's wrong? Can we look at what the Bible says and say, oh, they're not doing what's right. I know they're not doing what's right because the Bible says it's not right. Can we do that? Yes. All of us need to make sure we do what's right because someday we are going to stand before God, right? And if we judge ourselves to make sure that we're not hurting other people, we're not making other people do something wrong. Can you imagine back to my little illustration? It's time to go play. Uh, I'm sorry, it's time to do work. Mom says, you want to work, but you want to play. And you know what sometimes we do? We get somebody else to go play with us, don't we? So what are we doing? We're helping somebody else disobey too. That is really bad, isn't it? And we will all, someday... Stand before That is making somebody else trip and fall and do bad, isn't it? We don't want to do that. In fact, God tells us not to do it. So we should, we should judge ourselves. The Bible judges what happens around us. If somebody's doing what the Bible says, it doesn't matter if they're doing it a different way than we're doing it. And all of that happens and should happen because someday we're going to stand before God. Every one of us, right? So then, every one of us shall give account of himself. himself to God. So we need to remember that. Not just here in this room. We need to remember this when we leave and go home. We need to remember that tomorrow. And then Monday and Tuesday, every single day of our life, God is going to make us give account of. And so we want to judge ourselves, 
Because then there's a lot less for God to judge if we judge ourselves. Right? Okay, let's try to remember that and let's let the Bible change the way we live today.